would be great. Let me repeat myself. This class will be great. This class, which does not settle for second place nor first, but for best, will be great. This class, which could not wait until May 20th to enter into the parchments of history, will be great. This class, not one person or one group of people, but this class will be great. Because this class does not function on individual progress, because no leaf by itself can provide shade to this world, blinded by the rays of its many ears. We will not be great because Nicholas Aziz will become the owner and editor of the most prestigious news organization in the world. We will not be great because Cayenne Barclay will become the most ethical CEO of a Fortune 500 company. We will not be great because Derek Davis will become the next Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. We will not be great because Corby Wesley's productions will forever adorn the stage of Broadway. We will not be great because John Wall will become the next U.S. Secretary of Education. We will not be great because Tyree Alexander will become the next mogul to revolutionize human interaction. We will not be great because Jihad Kekrul will produce plays that put Shakespeare to shame. We will not be great because Ron Stubblefield will engineer the first levy which does not break. We will not be great because Quinn Terrence Bell will become the leading educator in this nation. We will not be great because Charles O'Bain will become the next Director General of the World Health Organization. We will not be great because Stephen Cornish will cause America to recognize the impact of global warming. We will not be great because Jovell Phillips and Kyrell McCoy will forever change the way we view fashion in this world. We will not be great because James Dennis will become the great preacher of the 21st century. We will not be great because Rashawn Wheel Warfield and Michael Leonard will cause this world to reject homophobia as a reason to deny someone their humanity. No, our greatness cannot be determined by how many we graduate as being well-read and well-spoken. Our greatness cannot be determined by how many well-dressed or well-traveled graduates we have. No, together as a class, our greatness is contingent upon our balance here and the fact that each of us here represents the building blocks to sustaining an entire civilization. But I have breaking news for all of us today. There is a sixth well. There is a sixth well that Dr. Franklin could not mention so many years ago. There is a sixth well that no other class can espouse when the history books are written. When generations unborn experience the fruits of our labor, they will have to wonder what it was about these men, these proud, brilliant, inspiring, noble black men that equipped them to make those mountains move out of their way on our journey to the promised land. And as we tiptoe the intersection of life and life everlasting, we with loving eyes and a humble heart will be able to proudly proclaim that sixth well, well, I was a member of the class of 2012.